called a clapboard. Oh, I knew that. A director's cut clapboard. Okay. So, yep, it's got the date, the production company, the director, the cameraman. And the gut. And you know what they should write do? It all over it. Like, you know how in track races they do a gun where they shoot it off <laughs> and then they start running? Every, every scene they shoot a gun? <laughs> yeah, just have a gun and shoot it off and be like, that all right, ar- go. That already happened with... Uh, Oh, what's his name? name? Rust. Yeah, Alec yeah with Rust Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Yep. Shake it up. All right, we're going to rhyme. Hippity hop, sitting on the chair. You want to get shot? I don't care. You like big boobs? Woo! So that's, it. that's all I got. All right. <laughs> I was going to say, they better not have hair. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of hair, wow. <laughs> What's going on up there? <laughs> hey, Whoa, that we're still rhyming. <laughs> I'm going it out for the wedding. Dude, that's nice. It's what wedding? It's been too long, boys. <laughs> I'm just gonna Is there uh, like a wedding coming up? Yeah, dude. A month, and I'll be married. Hell yeah. I can't wait to celebrate that. You'll have to give me the handbook of staying out of trouble. <laughs> okay. I'll have to find it. <laughs> it's buried somewhere. <laughs> well, what are we drinking, Big Al? This is called Drunk Bunny. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Easter. I hope it's not poisonous. Oh, that's good. What is that? Watermelon? It's a uh, rum, white rum, a little grenadine, and um, lemonade, old-fashioned style lemonade. Good that's stuff. Good. That's it. Sugar free. I was gonna put like peeps on it and stuff, but you know, you know stores. It's I know them. It's, it's Easter five months leading up to it, but the day after it's Halloween. We're, we already have <laughs> Halloween stuff out, so I couldn't find anything. I was gonna put like <laughs> scatter eggs around here. I know the last pod I, I didn't even it was just me and I didn't speak about Easter at all, but uh we're like not really that far away from it, so we're making this an Easter one. Yeah. And getting it out. So happy Easter. Feliz Easter. Yeah. Well before we get into Easter you guys haven't been here in a while, so we, well, it feels like it anyway. It feels like a long while. A long while. I, I don't know. I don't. I mean, what is it? It must have been over a month it's ago. Like three weeks at least. I know. I, I don't think so. It was Probably right not. after Portland, which is the end of February, yeah. and then I went to California like the first week of March, and then that we we haven't recorded since then. Okay, I de- I definitely had extra clips of ours. In uh, the back pocket, so I think I was like filling up a week with that, but I know been, been too long. Blink your eyes, and now we're in April. So, who went away first? It was you. I was gone. But who went away first? Was it you? I or was Danny? in California. Okay. Then he was in California. Then I was in Seattle. Okay. I think we talked about when you were in California for the wedding. Maybe. Well, how was I it? I was in California for a wedding. What was Cal- just? Oh, uh, I you just were. no, yeah. that was uh, Washington. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was in California just visiting Grandma and Lindsay's oh, February right. break. Okay. Yeah, what did right. you guys do there? Did you yeah, was, anything special? You just want to go see Grams? It's been so long, I don't even remember. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we went. We hung out with Grandma. We spent the first night in San Diego, seeing a couple of friends, grabbing a bite to eat. We got in a little bit later than we wanted to. Um, and then, like, halfway through the trip, Lindsay started to not feel great. And I was still feeling fine. And then the last day, like, the flu hit. So I was traveling back with, like, the flu, which sucked. And we were supposed to have, like, a six-hour layover in Chicago. And I said, Yikes. forget it. I spent some money and we bought Delta tickets. So we missed our connecting flight six hours later. It's so funny. We got on a flight two hours instead of six hours. And we were just pulling into the driveway at home in uh, Chicago. American Airlines is calling me, like try- probably trying to see if I was making it. And I just didn't want to answer because I didn't want them to be like, well, you're going to get a charge fee. Whereas if you just no show, they don't charge you. Oh, okay. So I just didn't answer it, but like I was pulling in as they were calling like the last call for the flight. I was like, I'm so glad we we got on this earlier flight. Definitely. Being it's sick. Worth, it's worth doing that. It was. I hate sitting in the airport. I'm man. never gonna book a connecting flight again. Yeah. I was sh- I was shocked. I know. You we got it for so cheap. That that's was the thing. And that's, that's why, why the layover sucked. But we had three you... hours in Georgia on the way there. Dude. Or uh, North Carolina or something like that. Okay. That's but not it, too bad. It doesn't even matter where you are. You're just like I'm not where I'm supposed to be at the end. <laughs> yeah. But then you buy some drinks, you buy some food, and basically that was the remainder of the ticket you could have got a Right. I did that once, maybe twice, and that's we a good got point. 
Yeah. Because we did. We went over to some rum bar, got a handful of drinks and lunch. Right. And then hopped on our flight. It's like, so, all right. And then and at airports, it's like dumb expensive. <laughs> so you're right. The, the difference probably would have brought us right up to a one-way direct. And I've, I lived in San Diego, and I always had friends and family here. And I traveled from San Diego to here so many times, just nonstop on Alaska or JetBlue. But we found these tickets for so cheap, and I was like, we've got to do it. And uh, I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's... The but dollar yeah, in between, talk. in between getting there and getting sick, we had a good time. We just we saw some friends, went out to a couple bars and went out to all the good restaurants. We didn't do too too much. So you saw the needle, right? Oh, when I was in Washington, yeah. So I was oh, sorry. This is still Everybody California. Goes to the bathroom, he sees it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, sorry. I, when you said friends, but then I should have. No. Known. So yeah, we were in San Diego still, but yeah, w- when I was in Seattle um, a couple weeks ago, now we did go to the Space Needle. It was really cool. So I, I have like a fear, like I, I've grown up in small planes. I have no problem with that. Like an engine failure, you know, it's got wings. We can land. But like looking over bridges or looking out the window of like a skyscraper kind of freaks me out, like even hotels. So so when we were up there, we grabbed a drink at the bar on the Space Needle and the the whole floor is glass and it spins. So I'm okay. like, they're, you know, they got like the metal parts that go between like where the windows are. I'm like walking like on the metal part, like freaking out about like the whole glass floor. It was sketchy, but, and then like people, including my wife, <laughs> no, leaned up on you. the outside. It, the the outside of it like kind of tilts out, and so she did this, and I I saw some like little kid do it first, and I was like, he's got a death wish, and Lindsay's like, no, it's cool. Like, did they say, or is there a sign that's? It's like, fine. You can like do you're it? supposed okay. to, you can do it. I I had no interest in doing it. It's uh, it was just a whole like the whole outside was glass. Okay. And I was like, this is sketchy, but it was really cool. So I I know I I had texted you and you were there. I've heard a mixed mixed review or mixed feelings about it. Some people say it's really cool and some people say it's really deceiving. It's not like as big as it looks in the movies or what, but you you said it was pretty it's pretty sweet. I liked it and like <laughs> in the movies the needle, for, man. For, the for, needle. For, <laughs> for me like I said, like I grew up in small planes, like my dad's a private pilot and everything and I just love the view from anything that's kind of high up, so I loved it. Okay. It overlooked the whole city. You can kind of see some mountains in the background. It overlooked the whole harbor. We were up there at sunset pretty much. That's cool. It was gorgeous. I loved it. But, yeah, I've heard some people are like, oh, don't bother. But the view is I'm awesome. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, the pictures I saw were we good time. sick. Yeah. And you can go up for as long as you want. You got to wait in this line, line to get up there, which is no problem. But You won't be, like, forced to leave after a certain. And then you're, like, in this crammed elevator with, like, 15 people that just goes straight up. Like, you know, the middle of it is really small. So that was kind of sketchy, but it was fun. Isn't nice. that where Doctor Evil's lair was in the Austin Powers movie? I think it was in the Space Needle. <laughs> was it? <laughs> I thought so. I don't remember. It was I don't super either. high. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know. I know. I know that that like spaceship they have is like Doctor Evil, and like it's like him, like <laughs> shaped like him. I think, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, never mind. But, but that's yeah. So Seattle was cool. We did like we stayed in Tacoma the first two nights so we got there friday stayed there friday the wedding was saturday stayed there saturday and then se- uh, sunday morning we ubered up to seattle and stayed there sunday night and left monday home tacoma of the toyota. was nothing tacoma what i said home of toyota <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i was in tacoma <laughs> toyota but uh yeah tacoma was nothing to write home about we walked like 25 minutes and and i googled it too i couldn't find a gas station a convenience store a grocery store like really? I just wanted like some snacks. <laughs> not even a Seven Eleven, dude. No, and I want that's I sh- rare. I just wanted like a a bottle of water to drink because like you know you go downstairs and you buy it at the hotel and it's expensive or whatever. So I did find a water fountain that I kept refilling at. But well, it rains there all the time, dude. You could have just went outside and it was uh yeah it was raining pretty much every day. And then <laughs> so Seattle it stuck true to the Seattle. <laughs> it did. So you know, but when we were in type. Seattle, we had sunny skies and I don't know mid sixties, sixty five maybe. Wow, it was beautiful. Nice. And we did all the touristy things. We went to Pike's Place. That was really cool. It's it's insane. It's wild. What's Pike's Place? Yeah. It's just like a big. It's like kind of like a Faneuil Hall, like a big oh, outdoor okay. market. But That's it's like mean. indoor, outdoor. There's multiple floors. It's on a deck that overlooks the harbor. It's on the street. It's it's crazy. It's everything. Isn't that a? This might sound like a stupid question, but isn't that a property in Monopoly? Probably. It sounds. Pikes, uh, that Pikes, sounds right. Because when you Place. said Pikes, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, where have I heard that before? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't Grand Theft Auto. It might be. Let's look it up. You know, I think it. I think it was. It sounds very. So that was cool. We walked there, and then we walked nice. to the Space Needle, and then after the Space Needle, we did a glass museum, which was really oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. And then we 
took a shuttle halfway back and then walked back and we were exhausted but it was fun so is seattle a big city like it's pretty big yeah size wise like it would take you a while to get from one end to the other yeah it was much bigger than i thought it would be um and it's the craziest part it's just like san francisco it's very hilly oh so we're on like second ave and we need to get to fifth ave and we're like dying like breathing heavy like sweating like (laughs) like it's like dude it's it's so steep it's just i didn't realize it was like on a hill like san francisco is but it was cool, and then uh, Monday we flew home, and that was nonstop. It was nonstop both ways, which was nice. But that's cool. It so was you don't you don't like nonstop stop flights? No, what uh, I do like nonstop. Oh, you do like them? I they don't said like which s- sucked. No, no. If I said that, I didn't mean to. Did I mishear him? I don't. I think something sucked, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I said that. <laughs> Anyways, no, it, was, yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. I straight love. home, it sucked. <laughs> Short yeah, that was nice. The only thing, the, the only thing that sucked is that we got in at like just after midnight. So Sabrina picked us up and we got home at like one. Okay. And what yeah, sucked even more is I wasn't tired to go to bed. So I was up for another hour and a half till like two thirty. Yeah. The woke up changed. at seven thirty and went to work. So that that jet lag sucked. <laughs> I've I've been to Portland, Washington, um, but I have not been to Portland. Is in Oregon. I'm sorry, Oregon. That's what I meant. Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Portland, Oregon. Which is like four or five Not hours, Washington. I think, from Seattle. Yeah. But the Pacific Northwest, nonetheless. Right. It was like very kind of like a hipster vibe, a lot of breweries and stuff. I went for my cousin's wedding. Um, I haven't been to Washington at all, but I wanted to go to Seattle. A lot of like so coffee shops, a lot of breweries. Yeah. I'll make it out one, you know. A lot of homeless, time. which is yeah, always same, a same problem with cities. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Like coffee and beer in those places are slowly becoming like the same price. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's weird. It's like a little novelty. We went item. to a brewery and and yeah, the co- the beers were super cheap. Yeah, and the co- but then but like if the you coffee like was probably Starbucks, almost more yeah. more yeah because it's like a Americano hundred percent. Yeah, we, I think the beers at the brewery were like four fifty, okay. which is pretty cheap for well, yeah because you're going to the source right. Um, they're brewing it there. If you were to go to like a restaurant, they'd probably be like ten bucks. Yeah, yeah. We went and saw the gum wall. Oh yeah, I saw that, and the glass yeah. museum was. Wild. The glass museum was really cool. That was crazy, yeah. like all bl- like blown glass or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Like squids look like crazy <laughs> squids and tentacles. They make the craziest and, thing. Yeah, yeah, that was. Unreal. I know. Yeah, it's wild. It was fun though. It was a good time. Traveling is always fun. It's fun to go, but I love coming home. Yeah, I've I know. said it before. Right back to the Martini Boys. Right back. What about you? Talk about you. Talk about me. Yep. Where did you go? I went to High School South Re- Lake Tahoe. Which High School is Reunion. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it was like a little Basically. high school reunion. There were nine of us, um, all graduated from high school, same class, just all good friends. You know, we're like, let's do a little trip out west, and uh, so we went to South Lake Tahoe on the California side, is where I believe our Air- Airbnb was. But there's also a Nevada side because they're like right next to each other, and um, we got this really cool Verbo. Like, literally, we get out of our place. And you'd walk maybe for two minutes, and you're at yeah. Heavenly Ski Resort. Nice, which is like a really popular. Yeah, ski Heavenly's resort down huge. There. Yeah, it's huge. And um, so I snowboarded almost every day, and I'm a, I'm like sick. a beginner. You were there for like twelve uh, days. <laughs> well, no, I was, we were there for eight days, and I think I snowboarded six out of the eight. Wow. Yeah, and and I'm a beginner. Like my friends are really good at snowboarding, so like trying to keep <laughs> up with them was tough. The so, problem with that too is like the endurance. Yeah, I went to I went to um, Park City for like three days, and like by the third day, I was just so beat. Yeah, I mean <laughs> I the, I the first days. day, like I was cramping up left and right. Yep. I kept having to stop it's and awful. like, but then I just kept ripping electrolytes, and that seemed to help. And mm-hmm. by like the third day, I went out, I was fine. But That's cool. my friends would go so fast, and they were doing like the double black diamonds. Like people have probably heard of like Mots, um, and like I think it's called like. Killabrew or something like that, but they're like double black diamonds where you're basically, you know, they're, they're glades. You're just going over rocks and in between trees and stuff. I was like, can I do a blue? Yeah. Like, <laughs> me you know, at the bottom. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. I did a couple blacks and I could barely make it down. So, uh, but oh. it was a good time. Uh, we, scary. we, you know, drank like every night, went to the casinos there because it's like that strip in South Lake Tahoe. There's so much to do there. Well, so the Nevada side has casinos. Yeah. So we, so we were on the Nevada side then. Okay. I honestly, didn't know the whole time. <laughs> um, but that beach you went, yeah, I saw you going doing some polar plunges. Yeah, I've, polar I've been plunge. to that beach in the summer. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we did a couple, what, two polar plunges, I think? 
psychos. The water's yeah. like, like 40 degrees yeah, or Yeah, it was 35. like 43, somebody was saying. Yeah, that's cold. But, you know, when you have <laughs> yeah. all your buddies and, you know, you've had a couple of drinks, you don't even feel it. No, because if you, if you jumped in, you both jumped in, I'd jump in. I yeah, yeah, like yeah. And you, if you guys do it, I'll do it. Yeah. A couple of, you know, like my friend Kyle and my friend Adam, they would stay in there for like another three minutes after. That's like we sick. jumped in and <laughs> I got right out. And I've done the cold plunges before and I'm usually fine, but there's something about doing it in like spe- nature. It's like colder. Yeah. And the, the wind's blowing and everything. I know. And so. you're conditioned for it. You've been doing the ice baths for a couple of years now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On and off. Yeah, on and off. But... It was it was fun. Um, went to breweries, coffee shops, like it's kind of the same same deal out there. But it's, it's like just a cool life. Like I knew three guys who actually work at that ski resort, and they just go there and work every day, and you know, like live a chill life. Yeah, just you could do it here. Yeah, when you retire, just become like a ski patrol or something. I know, but out there, it's like a different vibe. Yeah, you know it's what way I mean? different. It's like. Obviously, it's a lot more expensive to live out there, so I don't even know how they can afford it. There's a lot more snowboarders out there. Did you notice that? No, there was about an even amount. Okay. If you go up to, like, Mammoth or, and all that, like, I That's noticed I when I was out there, there was a lot more snowboarders than you'd see here. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't notice because I had my head, like, in the snow every <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's the Niagara Falls of the West Coast. You're, like, on the... You were, like, oh, I was on the... Ta- with a... Where's Tahoe? California. Tahoe. Yeah, yeah, California yeah, and Nevada. Nevada like Nevada. That's funny. And there's a huge waterfall. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be no, surprised. it's very hilly there, though. Yeah, that's why. Very hilly. Because there is one in Washington, Did right? you go up to North Lake Tahoe at all? No. There's a, there's a couple of like smaller like towns or villages up there that are gorgeous. Same with, I mean, South Lake Tahoe has the same thing, but... We went to a place called North Star Ski Resort. Yeah. I don't know where it was, and all I know is like an hour north, so it could have been on the north side of the lake. Yeah, it's but probably up by Squaw. Did you go to you go to Squaw at all? Squaw Valley? Don't know. <laughs> it's a mountain. You wouldn't know. Yeah. He it went sounds like you went he to came. Heavenly mostly, but North yeah. Star is cool too. So I had friends from out out that way in Sacramento, and they always raved about Heavenly. I never got to ski up there, unfortunately, but it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's it was cool, especially as a beginner. You know, like I go oh, up yeah. to <laughs> Pat's Peak, and that's where I normally snowboard. But the thing I didn't realize, <laughs> my boots were way have been way too big this whole time. Really? Like the boots I have here are a size twelve. When I went out there, I rented a board and got boots, and they were size ten and a half. And I was like, "Wow, this actually did it help." Yes, yeah. so much. You're in more control because your heels aren't lifting up. On oh yeah, turn. <laughs> bro. You, you like need... my feet were almost coming out of my boots, here. <laughs> but there they were nice and snug. But so, so you you skied growing up, right? Yeah, and you just transitioned into snowboarding. Yeah, I trained over. <laughs> uh, I just skiing like I plateaued. Cause I'm not a very, I'm not like a risk taker. I don't go over jumps and like, you know, do a flip and then like, you know, pull down my pants midair. Like I like to just kind of go down nice and soft and, and flaccid like, and maybe uh, you just need damn, to what happened the out there? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Now I've, only, cool. I've only snowboard. Yeah. Now I, I'm a snowboard. I grew up skiing like since I was like three or four, like I've skied my whole life <laughs> pretty competent in doing so, but I did, uh, I tried snowboarding when I lived in California. My buddy was a, a, a technician, like a rental tech, so he, all the stuff comes back damaged. He fixed it. So he gave me a snowboard and said, go try this. And I was like, all right. So I hit the bunny slope on the magic carpet, fell a couple times. I was like, all right, this is kind of weird. Did it again. Made complete sense in my head. Took the lift up, and then I was hitting the jumps on the third run. So I liked it. Because, you know, I skateboarded, I longboarded, I surfed. Yeah. Like it, it, it clicked pretty quick for me. But That's yeah, why I, just, I chose uh, it. Yeah, I've just always been a skier, but I could I'd love to like get a snowboard and give it a give it a shot. It's just a lot of being on your butt from what I've yeah, seen. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> snowboarding's fun and it is a lot like surfing. It's just it hurt more hurts more when you fall. Yeah, definitely, especially if you do a, if you scorpion, do the scorpion, you fall on your stomach and the yeah. board comes and uh, hits you in the back. It's messed up. Yeah. I loved it though when I when I tried it. I remember like carving and stuff like in surfing, when you carve, it can slow you down. But in snowboarding, when you carve, it like, gives you speed. Oh, and yeah. I thought that was a lot of fun. It was kind of fun to go front side and back side because in surfing, you do that. And I really like the front side. But obviously, when you stop on a snowboard, you're kind of going back side. And I thought that was a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Yeah, snowboarding's cool. I liked it. Um, I think I'll continue with that and just hang up the skis. Maybe I'll get on a snowboard with you next year. I was going to say, if you go, let me know. Get Alex out there. I only snowboard. I've never, I still, to this day, I've never skied. Um, but because I skateboard, skateboarded, 
long boarded, however, and that's, I guess, yeah, how yeah, you would yeah. say it. Mm-hmm. Growing up, that's all I did. I would skateboard all the time, hit the skate parks, hit the ramps. So I naturally was like, yeah, of course I'm going to sco- uh, snowboard. And I also thought, too, when I was younger, I thought skiing was like, was like goofy, like was like silly looking. But oh, skiing yeah. is skiing is sweet. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. like when I see it now, but I think I don't know for some reason I was like, oh, skiing. Like it's a lot easier to learn skiing from what I've heard from people. I'm sure. I I I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just a little. I'm I'm too old now. I'm not too old, but like, I've reached that age where like I'm more uh, aware of my surroundings and falling and breaking legs, breaking bones. So when's the last time you snowboarded? When we were at Sunday, Sunday River, River, like five years ago. Yeah, and dude, I get you out there. Panji brought me. <laughs> On like ski, on yes, roll it. We're coming for you. I got games. Don't <laughs> worry. Got games coming up. We're using these. Um, and uh, he took me. He took me on these friggin' flat parts. I'm like, I was like, what the hell? And then I'm falling because he and has poles. He has poles. He's he's I'm like, yeah. how the hell am I supposed <laughs> to move, dude? He's taking me across this mountain with like seven exits, and we keep going straight, and I'm falling, falling. So then I got really upset, and I was upset. I was like, I wasn't even pissed off. Like I just was so. It's frustrating. Yeah. And like I know I, what you're talking about. Sunday River has a couple of traverses that go, because there's like seven peaks. Which so is it goes sweet. across the whole mountain. Right. But as a snowboarder, you got to really keep up your speed in a couple of spots. Same with skiing, even, but right. I have the poles to help. It's right. hard to go s- dead straight on a snowboard <clears throat> because you catch edges. Like I, I fell so many times Dude. just traversing I know. when we were out, out west. Like when you're, so if you're, if you're going down on the snowboard, is your chest, when you're going down, is your chest facing right? Or left. Yes, yeah, like, so I'm regular. So left foot so, forward. So, it would be, so my left foot's forward. Same. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's how I snowboard. So curving left where your stomach, like your chest is outward towards the snow is easy. But then I always felt like it was harder to like ba- use the back leg, yeah, your right leg side. to then turn. Yeah. So then your It sounds like you did in. better on like your heel side versus yeah. your toe side. Yeah. So when, I got the hang of it. It's just harder. For, it was harder for me. So one of my buddies, when I was going next to him, he was flying by me, and he just yelled, "It's all in the hips, Mista," because that's my nickname. And um, Mista. once he it's said that, your once he said that, my my snowboarding game like went from like a you know an F plus to like a freaking E minus. When I get it, so I got I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> did it E F G. Let's all get out there on snowboards Let's next year. It. Hands in. Let's cut our hands and blood bleed to this. <laughs> if you get me on a, if you get me on the trail that's from beginning to end, it's just A B. There's no A B C D E F to get to yeah, G. Yeah, with the optional right. and HG. Did I'm you, really uh, good. I'm, I'm pretty good. Did pretty you good. rent equipment yeah. out there? This is dirt cheap. Really? Yeah. It was like 200 bucks for the whole week. Oh wow! But that's my awesome. binding broke on like oh, the yeah. second to last day, I, so I ended up borrowing somebody else's. That's not board. bad at all. I think Abby told us that, or maybe I heard that from you, but that's that's crazy. Yeah. That's not on you though, right? You don't have to like. It's not like. Yeah, they give me like twenty five bucks back. Oh, that's cool. You know, that's cool. I mean, you're. That's impressively you're affordable. I think. Right. Like I think. I mean, tickets out there, like what, like a f- couple hundred Dude, bucks a day. So a lift ticket on a weekend is like two hundred nineteen bucks from nine to four, which is crazy. But my friends all had the Epic Pass. Yeah. Okay. So that that's gave me a discount. It. So it ended up being like a hundred and fifty seven or something. Not awful but, considering some of the best mountains in the country, but yeah. And I'm like, well, oh, yeah. I'm only here, you know, you for a couple of days. Spend the money. Yeah, you know. Sounds like it was a good time. Yeah, just when I come back home, just rob some old lady and make it up, make up for it. So. That's, that's the best way to do it. Make sure you rob that convenience store where that lady gave you lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wasn't old though. She's gone. That's all right. We can. She was. You know what? The thing with that lady, she was probably 25, but she looked 75. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I'm calling the cops. Girl no. wouldn't did a job on her. <laughs> Too many needles. Oh. <laughs> so we traveled <laughs> for acupuncture? Because she's so healthy. Yes. So we traveled <laughs> Seattle on air- needles, aircraft dude. on uh, airplanes <laughs> out west. You drove a car to New York. So tell us about your travels if, you are, if you're done giggling. Uh, when did. Oh, for my cousin's wedding. Yeah. Can we I went just to, ask you a quick question yeah, yeah, yeah. before that? Yeah. Where, like, when you were driving through New York, were there just people like stabbing each other on the side of the road, like as you drove by, just like fighting and so that was that was a huge thing. We didn't go through the city. Oh, okay, yeah, we went. Probably would have seen that happening. Yeah, yeah, women are being punched in the face. Oh, Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you saw that in in live. No, uh, (laughs) not in real life, but I've I saw like on TikTok and Instagram, one girl went like viral. Her video went viral, and she's like filled up in her eyes. 
And she's like, guys, like, she's like, oh my God. She's like, I don't even know what to say right now. She's like, I just got punched in the face. What is happening? Dude, she had a huge welt. Jeez. And everyone's like, I'm a nurse. Like, hematoma, or right? Mm. Hematoma. Like, yeah. go get it checked out now. Like, go. Like, do not wait. And um, then, like, a week later, there was, like, a whole list of pictures. And there were, like, 12 girls that all got just randomly punched by... Yeah, dude. Uh, my Messed cousin, up. through, like, once removed, that whole thing. But my cousin who went with my Uncle Steve, said um, she was, like, afraid, basically, because of all this stabbings going on. And I was like, are you kidding me? So we went around New York City into Jersey and then basically entered from the backside. But <laughs> Heard that about you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> but by- huge backside <laughs> huge guy. Huge three-way guy. But uh, where the Statue of Liberty is, so uh, across the Hudson. Lady Liberty. Yep. So um, it's just... Missed it, but I, I've heard all about that stuff. It's it's funny, it, not funny, but like I'm glad you brought that up because that was that's been a huge thing, man. I don't know what's going on. It's wild. Yeah, I mean, just walking up to, and these these girls that I've seen, they're tw- in their twenties, mid twenties, late twenties, and early thirties, just getting punched in the face. Like, that's not okay. What the hell is wrong with you? So other than that, how was your <sighs> wedding? <laughs> <laughs> so the wedding was great, Greek wedding. So we had no the one dollar. got punched in the face. No one got punched in that's the face. Nice. So what are yeah. like some Greek wedding traditions? Oh man, the dollar bills, what Greek music. Uh, so <laughs> um, I know what a dollar bill dollar is. Bill. Yeah. So <laughs> if if you're not familiar with it, you think it's Here. like for strip. <laughs> yeah, you think it's like for stripping or like strippers. So like you get a bunch of ones and you're just basically doing this over the married cu- couple. Love that. Like and as they a, walk down the aisle or something. No, while we're dancing, oh, like okay. in a dance floor. That's fun. So you're just like going. You like should have got like a dollar bill gun. <laughs> I know, and, that, and like that's basically what it is, and that is a way of being like. Wishing you good luck, giving you good luck, giving you value, uh, wealth, fortune, stuff like that for your for your marriage. But people who aren't like familiar with it are like, what are we at a strip club? <laughs> because everyone's stepping on it, they get crimp crumpled or crump yeah, yeah, crumpled yeah. up, and you're stepping on it, they get dirty. But uh, <clears throat> what people may not know is that at the end of the night, this is from just experience of all the weddings, but they use a large, wide broom and they sweep up all the all the bills that have been tossed and they go to like the DJ or the band or the okay. the maintenance crew or whatever. But so it's like tips. Yeah, but um yeah, like it's it's very it's very popular and like it's a respectful thing to do. But most people th- that aren't Greek or haven't been to Greek weddings are like, what are we at a strip club? What else they got? They roasting like making... a whole pig at the wedding or no, is that just no. on Easter? So so thankfully <laughs> thankfully my cousin didn't have that much of the Greek music going on. But uh there was you still like that no, it's it's <laughs> not it's not for me. A little too much accordion it, or something. Like, what does Greek music sound like? Is it like? So the leader of the it's a line. It's like um doing the uh, the da 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 da. Hey, the Congo. Okay. So yeah, yeah. so but you're following people. So the leader has a handkerchief, handkerchief, chief, chief napkin, of chief of a hank. <laughs> so they walk with it, and then it's like a whole line. So they start making this big circle, and it's like. Two steps forward, one back. Three steps forward, two back. Like, like the Cotton like Eye very, Joe? No, it's just like, <laughs> the, yeah, it's like this, the way it works. Um, it's not um, duck sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not exactly like that. But then eventually more and more people are added, and then it becomes like a spiral. And then like, like a big lift, snake. Yeah, and then like exactly, it's snake. It's literally snake. Then you lift your arms up, and the leader goes through it. So like, you just keep this thing wow. going, and but it's the songs, and like, if you don't like Greek music, it's it's crazy. It sounds like the same song for hours and hours and hours, <laughs> and it's just like a lot of uh, the bazooki, which is like this string instrument. It's 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 not for me, but is know. there accordion? No, no, okay, no. Isn't there an instrument called like the baklava? Uh, no, there's a food though. Oh, dessert. There's something like that. That rings a bell. Dessert. Baklava, yeah. The baklava. Mm-hmm. You play it. Bala bala ka, bala. No baklava. It's definitely baklava. Balakaka. It? My mom makes it. No, I'm talking about the instrument. Your mom no. makes those instruments. No, no, no. The balakava. The, the dessert that you. Oh, the ka- put in your kavla mouth. or something sounds more like it. Baklava is that like. No, I know what that is. Okay. <laughs> I think you're thinking you about said, the, the guitar. What did you say? You said an instrument. Yeah, yeah. Called the baklava. There's okay. the there's the bazooki. <laughs> And there's, there's a, a couple other things. Let me look. Let me look. When I think of bazooki, I just think of like something you hold over your shoulder. I think of bazooka like bubble gum. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. So there's uh not 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 any of those. The barbaton, the bazooki. Yeah, there's Barbasol. The, 
the Lear or the Liar. I think it's Lear. It might be Liar. L Y R E. Yeah. I don't I don't say it, but swag. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't have a Greek wedding, obviously. So, so duck duck goose, you know. Yeah. Well, speaking of coffee, uh, I like that mug you got there. Yeah. Well. It's an Easter episode, and we're thankful. So we're thankful for this stuff. What, what is it? Thanksgiving? Yeah. <laughs> what, what Easter, man? <laughs> yeah. yeah so talk we got about some cool it. merch. Um, it's not quite out for the public yet. It will be very soon. But we got this nifty little coffee mug with our logo on it. We got this sweet hoodie in the what is it? Heather gray, I think the color. Yeah, is Heather called. gray. Yeah. It's got the big logo on the back, and then you'll see behind Alex, we have the long sleeve black t-shirt with our logo on it. So we're getting there. Yep. We'll get Basically, a few more things like going. We'll get, it out. we'll get it out for the uh, the public soon. It'll be available on our on our uh, profile. But spring. Spring for sure. Spring yeah. 2024. We're here, but uh, it's coming soon. When is spring actually official? Is it when it the is now. It already eclipse? is. Yeah, it's no, spring now. The 19th. I thought the eclipse brought it. Was it was March 18th slash 19th. Yeah. Speaking of eclipses, are you guys gonna go watch it or whatever? Oh I yeah, I don't even there? know how like how you. I looked talk up today. This thing. So the solar it? eclipse, it's on Monday the eighth, next Monday for us. Okay. Um, it's from like two seventeen or two forty one to like four seventeen, but the there's three minutes where it's a total eclipse, so those are partial and during that whole time. Yeah. But from okay. three twenty eight to three thirty one on Monday afternoon, it'll be a full eclipse. Oh, good. All right. In our area, it's going across New England, so we'll be able to see it mostly. It's supposed to be sunny, okay. no clouds, so we should be able to see it. But <clears throat> the only cloud will be the moon. Be very, very careful if you go out to watch yeah, it. Do not you look need at it. to have glasses that are made for this. Mm. So the last time there was an eclipse, actually, my neighbor, he's like, Matt, come over here, look at this. <laughs> he had me put on his welding mask and look at it, because that's like, you know, you're looking at these like, yeah, thousand right. degree flames, same thing practically, but not really, but. You need special glasses to look at it, and you, you can you can use a welding mask, or I don't know where you get these glasses. I don't know if they sell them. I like. I think Amazon sells them. They probably. look like three oh, D sure. glasses, but they're for. They're four D. <laughs> yeah, they're they're for it. <laughs> yeah, tinted. so that, that'll be cool on Monday. I'm Did looking it look cool forward to seeing it? it. Yeah, yeah. So you look up. I mean, when I looked at it, it was very obviously it's very far away, but like it was just a small dot, but that bright dot got covered by a darker dot, but. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. I think uh, a lot of people are looking forward to it. A lot of I heard that the schools in my area are like trying to get kids to go to like clubs or do something like like sports club, not like, Oasis, not, <laughs> <laughs> not throw up clubs, but uh, <laughs> they're trying to get them to do other things so that they don't look up and blind themselves because you will blind yourself. It's no and like joke. I said. There's like a couple. Of, there's like an hour and a half period where it's a partial eclipse. There's only three minutes where it's full. But even when you look at it during the full eclipse, it's going around the edge of the moon, so it's going to blind you. Yeah, but that's going to be pretty cool. I think I'm I'm looking forward to it. So, fun fact: I'll watch it. Yeah, I was born during a solar eclipse. Really? Like yeah. the same minute? You can look it up. May tenth, nineteen ninety four. There was an annular annular solar eclipse. Nice. So you turn into yeah. were- you're going to turn into a werewolf. I think it might <laughs> suck me back <laughs> in. That's Black what I'm hole. afraid of. <laughs> You so, know, when uh, this one comes on April eighth, it's gonna suck me right back. My my dad and I suck flew. Right we were doing a uh, we we're doing a photo op in California when I lived out there, and we were flying during a solar eclipse. And I tried to look out the back plane of the plane window. It didn't get dark or anything, and I couldn't quite see the sun. But we were flying during it, just didn't see it. <laughs> Apparently, there's a higher gravitational pull during an eclipse, so more kids this... are born. Oh damn! That's what okay. my mom told me. It could be some live <laughs> but. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. like the sun the and the moon just, are pulling right. you. <laughs> it pulled me right out. Yeah. In, on May 10th, 1994. It look it up. Slip and slide. It's a fact. Danny on the slip and slide. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, his mom's. A- <laughs> hey, cut, cut, hey. cut, cut. <laughs> we needed one of those cut things, you know. Or like, uh, what do they call them? It's not cut. It's like when you actually start. Take like the take. Yeah, take one, From take it, yeah, two. Yeah, you write on it. Take 489. It's going to have a name to it, that thing. Director board or like a director. Um, Like a cut thing. Let's just name it. That's what it is. It it's a cut thing. Cut thing. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, look it up because I'm curious. You know, like we've seen those so many times. They could have a name like a um, it's scrap called a, It's called a clapboard. Oh, I knew that. A director's cut clapboard. Okay. So, yep, it's got the date. 
the production company, the director, the cameraman, and the gut. And you know what they should do? All over it. Like you know how in track races they do a gun where they shoot it off <laughs> and then they start running. Every every scene they shoot a gun. <laughs> yeah, just have a gun and shoot it off and be like, that "All right, ar- go." That already happened with. Uh, Oh, what's his name? name? Yeah, Alec yeah, Baldwin. with Rust, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Yep. Oof. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Sensitive. I know that makes me sensitive. That was a crazy situation, though. I really, know. it was. Did yeah. the did the girl that like was in charge, and we don't have to talk about it much more, but did the girl that was in charge <laughs> of all the props, like, did she get in trouble? Because she, because you know, she hands him this gun, he shoots it. Yeah. She's the one that loaded it. It was her. The it was someone else. I think did she was she more just load it. No, I think she was just handing it to Someone him. Someone did. But it the, wasn't him. But yeah, no, the stunt guy, like, yeah, that loaded it up was Man. was tried. I don't know, that was messed up. Awful. He was messed up. I, I felt terrible, and everyone kept hounding him. All the paparazzis, they were like, "What do you think? Like, was it you or like, what do you? How do you feel about?" It? He's like, "Leave me alone!" Like, yeah, he's like, I'm my like, daughter just married Justin Bieber. I got more <laughs> things to worry about. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Actually, Actually, I don't think it was his daughter. It's his niece. It's a niece, I think. Because yeah. it's Billy Baldwin's daughter, right? But he's like, listen, I got a lot more on my hands with Biebs. Got to make sure he's wild, wild times, wild times. Well, let's let's go into the let's let's make this a semi Easter related pod. So before I go into these questions and stuff, do you have chocolates for us? I don't. I wish I did. Let's just go over the origin. Eat it. Oh yeah, (laughs) eat the duck. Is that blurple or (laughs) glurple? Yeah. What did you say earlier? Gurple? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. Well, you, you, you taped that onto the, the metal thing, the trophy. And oh, so no, I didn't. Oh, no. That must oh, have been oh, you. Oh, that was you. Okay, that maybe. That was uh, 100% me. Oh, okay, sick. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, so I pranked you for no reason. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's talk about Easter. <laughs> Lightly. Yeah. What? It, tell us about Easter. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people know, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt real, yeah, I felt real, uh, real deep there. Uh, it celebrates the r- resurrection of Jesus Christ on the third day after his crucifixion. The er- earliest recorded observance of an Easter celebration comes from the second century, though the commemoration commemoration of Jesus' resurrection probably occurred earlier. So there you go. That's Dang. your. I wish I was alive during the second century. That's your. Uh, Be pretty crazy. Yeah. Couldn't do this. No. <laughs> no. No. You'd have, have to, anything. if you want to talk to somebody across town, you'd have to go talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to light something or, on Or further, you're there. like, you're traveling for like a week to go tell somebody what up. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, that's obviously like the whole, when it comes around. And then there's Passover. That's not Christian, but, you know, we have other celebrations like that. But I'm going to talk to you about Easter. So here we go. You ready? All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Let's get up here. I have a list. I love my lists. All right, so here's some interesting facts or weird facts. So eggs used to be colored, you know, coloring eggs for Easter with natural ingredients, and that includes... Blueberries. Yeah. Raspberries. Exactly. Tree bark, yeah. flower petals, and all that kind of stuff, probably because they probably poured, like, water into it and made, like, a dye. Factoid. Yeah. The original Easter hare, not Easter bunny, it was called Easter hare, Same thing. would judge... Yeah, well, yeah, but we say, I don't say, it's no. the Easter hare. No, well, of course not. <laughs> but but yeah, a hare is a bunny. Oh, of course. Rabbit. A bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Would judge kids to see if they were naughty or nice. So it was it was very similar to Santa Claus, which I didn't know. He would judge him. Yeah. They walk here, he's like, oh, God. The date of Easter Krampus. changes every... <laughs> Krampus. Yeah, Krampus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the <Krampus>. date... <laughs> that, I saw a movie, it was like a horror Christmas movie, and... Yeah, it was. It, was, it wasn't very it was horrifying. Whack. Well, I mean, it was. It was like ripping people's like kids' heads off. <laughs> I was like, happy. It was like Merry Christmas. It's Krampus. I just think of uh, yeah. is it Krampus in it's in the office when Dwight dresses up as him and he's like whipping everybody. I'll get corrected. Probably Mike would know. It's it's a weird like moose like with horns. It's it's a <laughs> weird thing. It's a weird thing. The date of Easter changes every year. I I knew that. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's the first Monday or the first Sunday after the eclipse. Okay, that makes sense. It was really early this year. It was very early. Um, or second Monday, I think. Second second Sunday after the eclipse. Yeah, Final March answer. March 31st was this year's Easter, and I was like, damn, we're not even April. April, to me, speaks Easter. So yeah. when we were celebrating on March 31st, I was like, wow. Um, all right, so it says there are religious connections between Easter and pastel colors. 
So we think of um, bright times ahead, pretty spring, all connecting to springtime. However, each color also has a religious symbolism for Lent, Good Friday, and Easter. All right, here we go. Chocolate bunny, how much do you think it costs? The most expensive chocolate bunny. Hundred thousand. Way lower than that, but uh, it's still ridiculous. Eight hundred and forty-two dollars. No, uh, no, uh, way more. I, I thought I thought you said eight hundred and forty something thousand. No, way more. Two thousand. Way more. One thousand. Oh crap, that's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, less. I got yeah. one more guess. Then you yeah, gotta one give more guess. Of course. I'm I gonna... mean, uh, let's go with <laughs> <Daddy. laughs> eleven thousand. Way more. It's forty-nine thousand for a chocolate Easter bunny. What's, on record, is it huge? Yeah, huge. Is it oh, made so out of like? Huge. What is it? it contains five hundred and forty-eight thousand calories <laughs> for the entire thing. Wow, it must be like fifteen those, feet tall or something. Oh yeah, I mean you see them in like the stores. Is it hollow? I don't. I, I doubt it. Not not if it's more than. That's true. If it's that big, more than a half solid a million chocolate. So where'd they yeah. sell this thing at an auction or something or? Pro- maybe eBay. online Top or something. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's like some famous like lint chocolate or like those famous chocolate companies? I'm sure that they yeah. have. I'm sure they have, you know, those things out in the store. Walmart I've seen like Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli or yeah, uh, Lint or something. Yeah. I'm sure they I'm sure you can order it. Which is ridiculous though. Why would you want to spend forty nine thousand dollars on a friggin' Chocolate bunny. It could have been made by that guy who makes those crazy, extravagant things out of chocolate. Have you seen him? Oh, I've He's seen. He's on like yeah. Food Network and stuff like that. Sometimes. Maybe not the same. Oh, person, I know who you're talking about. I feel like his name's Alex or something. Me? He's like, yeah, he's European or something. Alex I know who you're talking about. Cuckoo. V- Vasta. Alex right? Cuckoo, Cuckoo. That's what it is. <laughs> Before Easter baskets, children would put eggs in a hat filled with straw. That must have been and before. And then the neighborhood pedophile that must have been, come around. Yeah, that must have been Mr. Before, Schneider. Our ti- before our time. <laughs> Rob Schneider. What do you... Uh, we'll just do one guesses, so it's we're not dwelling on each question, but what do you think the average shopper spends during Easter? Easter? Yeah. I'd say the average. Average. And I'm t- yeah, I'm talking 60, like 60, 70 bucks. $23. Really? I'm going with 60. 169, 79. Yeah, what? that's not really? average. That's on the high side. The I heck mean, are they buying? It says is that like the whole Easter ham and like all the sides and everything? everything? Everything, like average, I guess. It says wow. it says this includes dinner, new outfits for church service, and all of the goodies for the Easter okay. egg hunt. No one's buying new outfits for church service in this this family. <laughs> At least not in the Northeast. <laughs> yeah. Twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. All right. Some of these are. I'm just going through. Do you know why the Easter eggs are dyed red? Um, because they came from raspberries. Yes. Frost has more in this month. Yes, exactly. All right. It's supposed to rep- represent the blood of Jesus Christ, which so I I feel like I didn't know that. Is that what my sweatshirt's made out of? Yeah, yeah. blood. Maybe, maybe it was white. Yeah, yeah it was white <laughs> at one point. I I'll do. I'll baseball. do. I'll do one more. Then we're gonna get into the good stuff because it's candy related. Let's see. Oh, th- this I saw this earlier. I didn't know this. So pretzels are linked to Easter too. And it's because, well, supposedly, it's because the twists of the pretzel look like arms crossed in prayer. That's interesting. I love pretzels. Yeah, People I love are strange. Too. Well, like, it's all, what? People are strange. Yeah. Well, it's twisted, and it's supposed to look like the arm arms of you prayer. You twisted pervert. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, get, let's get into the good stuff. Let's go through the best of 2024 and then the worst. So this is on uh, candystore.com. They did a survey and these are what people said so let's 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 check this out let's go let's do the best first best of what candy you gotta give us some context here easter candy okay yeah what did i say best <laughs> what's the I best i thought i said best candy i thought i said best jonah candy. hill yeah all right we have sorry i scrolled i scrolled a little too quick Going on here? Are these the are these are the worst? Yeah, I think these are still the worst. Hold on, I'm g- I'm getting there. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> the best number one, Cadbury. Reese's egg. No, Cadbury mini eggs. Yep, those are good. Cadbury's yeah. good. Cadbury. That's some solid chocolate from England. Yeah, or U- they're United Kingdom. They're like they're good. They wouldn't be my favorite. I don't know if it's like the candy. Reese's eggs shell. are my favorite. Y- yeah, those are definitely in here. Yeah, but those are all chemicals. There's no chocolate in there. No, I doubt it. All right. Well, I didn't say that they were good for you. 
I I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Chemicals are good. I'm Chemicals going, are pretty good. <laughs> they are. I'm Oreos. going backwards. My bad. But so one was like the best. Those are, and that's the Cadbury mini eggs, which I do see all over the place. And every event I've been to, my my mom or like my grand grandparents put them in a the little dish. The Cadbury oh eggs. Yeah. Number two, Reese's peanut butter eggs. That's what you said. Yep. That's love, good. love Reese's. I'm surprised those aren't number one. Honestly. Me too. I know. I know. I think just because it has the name, but I eat those Cadbury. until I like feel terrible. Okay. All right. Yeah. Two so later. That's how <laughs> good they are. I know they're so good. They're the best ones, I think. They're straight Definitely. up addictive. Because they make Christmas yeah. tree ones, they make egg ones, they make, I don't the know. The eggs are the best. The eggs are the best. There's so much filling. There's the so peanut butter, much, I know. It's just a thin there chocolate might be a little, layer. There might be a little crack in there. There's might definitely be. crack might in be. there. Because I'll eat too many. Yeah. We got jelly beans, but the gourmet kind. So, like, the ones that are, like, upgraded, not just, like, crappy kinds. Like a jelly bean. Not I'm, the Harry Potter You know who's got good jelly, jelly beans? beans is, like, star, Starburst jelly beans. Those are Those so are good. Those are really good. We got the Robin Eggs from Whoppers. Do you like Whoppers? Never had those. Okay, I Whoppers. They're, eh, oh, they're Whoppers! Right. Like yes. Whoppers, but they're shaped as eggs. They're okay. They're all right. They're oval instead of spherical. <laughs> yeah. Number five, uh, we got Mallow Top Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So it's by Reese's. What's Mallow I'm not Top? A big, I'm not a big like marshmallow. Oh. I'm not a big marshmallow Mallow. guy. Yeah. Again, I'm going backwards. So <laughs> just three way. I'm going <laughs> just three way. I'm going backwards. <laughs> so I'm going from best to worst. I'm sorry, but it's fine. We got college bunnies. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds kinky. <laughs> I meant to say chocolate bunnies. College bunnies. Chocolate bunnies. <laughs> Reading's hard. I chocolate love college. bunnies. The hollow ones. I hate the hollow ones. I do Because I take a bite and then the whole thing shatters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the I, I hope. Bar. I hope that it goes the, into like the the feet of the bunny because then I can like drink the shavings that fall in there. But everything else just falls everywhere. It's like those granola bars, the natural uh, what do they nature call valley. Nature valley. Those <laughs> are the worst. All right, we got uh, foil wrapped chocolate eggs. I guess so. I know what these are. They're just colored, but they have them a lot of places, and you peel them off. And no matter how much you peel it off, I feel like there's just a little <laughs> bit left of foil. That you pop in your mouth and then you're... Are those the ones with like the cream filling? Because I think... Does, I does think Cadbury so. make cream filled ones as well? They do. Yeah. They do. They got Kinder Joy eggs with the little prizes inside, the little treats inside. I'm not a Kinder guy. Those... I, 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 just Tinder. I rarely. Just Tinder. <laughs> you got Hershey's fun size candy bars with Easter wraps. So you, you got like... The, Hershey's bars are so underrated. I'll have one once in a while and be like, damn, I forgot how good these are. I know. Lindsay I know. likes those. They'll... they'll, they'll yeah, and people battle you because it's not like real chocolate. It's like fake chocolate. I don't care. I know. Danny. So here's number Danny's 10. Danny's the people that battle. <laughs> here's number 10 of the best, but it's the worst. It's number 10. Skittles filled Easter eggs. So oh, it's an Skittles. Easter egg with Skittles in it. It's I mean, still on the best not, list. It's not the worst. It's just right. the worst best. Ex- exactly. Uh, and a list of 10. <laughs> yeah. So let's go through the worst ones. No, then we'll wrap up our Easter holiday. Licorice flavored anything. <laughs> well, it's funny. I didn't read the comments on the good ones because it's going to be positive stuff. But this is uh, this is the uh, comments for bad stuff. So number ten, generic jelly beans. Like, I guess if you just bought it at like some dollar store. Yeah, there's some something. weird flavors that are not good. Right. It says generic. These are all just from comments. Generic jelly beans are just okay. They're not my favorite, but they're not terrible either. You know what's a good flavor that probably a lot of people won't agree with me is Which one? the buttered popcorn flavor. No way. Dude, I like it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It's oh, like, not bad honestly. Yeah. It's like It definitely tastes like movie theater butter. Yeah. You no, and I that's mean? the best. <laughs> I feel like you can't You just don't expect that from something gummy and chewy like that. But I feel like you can't replicate butter, so it's really hard. <laughs> I feel like those ha- like you're saying the Harry Potter thing. Margarine is all, all replicated butter. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We got number nine coming in with Oreo cream eggs. Dude, that sounds, that sounds delicious. Good. I could get behind that. Can we go find those after I've this? I've never had I've one, never heard of it. But someone says, what is it? They're okay, but I miss the classic cream eggs experience. These are just not the same. It, it's cream egg, but it's Oreo. How could it be worse? I know. Someone said, I'll stick to regular cream eggs. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah, like too much. <laughs> Maybe it's too much creme de lait. Creme de lait. <laughs> Number eight, Sour Patch White Chocolate Rabbits. What? I've never I've heard of never that, but it sounds it very weird. Wait, yeah. can I see that? Yeah, man. There's white chocolate on Sour Patch. White. That's just wrong. Yeah. yeah. yeah no. This is weird because white chocolate's that. just weird. 
Yeah, <laughs> white chocolate is weird. Someone goes, <laughs> I'm just confused. It's like watching a movie sequel that never needed to happen. <laughs> That's what someone said. <laughs> That's valid. Seven, number two. Bubblegum eggs. Again, probably like a knock like a no name brand. So the problem with that, and this is my fat side coming out, which is the only side I have, but then you're done. That's the only candy you're having. It's like I want to go keep munching on candies. But I'm like, I get this bubble gum. It, right? This is it. I gotta chew this for like 30 minutes. And you can't <laughs> swallow it. So someone, his name's Derek. Yo, Derek, what's up? What up, Derek? He goes. <laughs> he says, "It's like finding out your chocolate egg is actually a kale smoothie in disguise. <laughs> just, <laughs> just why? That's that's funny. Gross. But dude, that's the nice thing about gum is you can keep chewing it and then. You like you're not sucking up. down all this sugar. Yeah, well, I like you to suck kinda. down sugar. You're swallowing. Do you like to suck it. the sugar? <laughs> of the chocolate. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see. You <laughs> <laughs> All right, We're next. finishing this least. Like ten minutes. All right, oh, this is perfect. Um, we got chocolate crosses. I've never seen these before. Have you seen these chocolate crosses? I don't no, think so, God. but yeah. it's chocolate. It's messed it up, just, man. It just seems weird. Yeah. Someone says feels too serious for Easter candy. Right. It's like you're Definitely. eating cho- chocolate Jesus. Sophia, shout out. I'm gonna just gonna shout out to all these random people. Sophia, what's up? <laughs> I prefer my Easter sweets a little less loaded. I agree. I agree. I get the intention, but eating a chocolate cross just feels a bit odd to me. I'll stick to bunnies and eggs, thanks. Julian, couldn't agree more. You can eat a bunny? That's messed up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid chocolate bunnies is number five. So we're we're making it. That's up, better man. than the hollow ones. Yes. You, you you bite off the ear and you're like, all right, this is delicious. I got right. a whole ear to eat here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like it's not like cotton candy. Like when you chew into it, then it's just air. I rather a solid chocolate. Someone said, "How the hell am I ever gonna finish that? Easy, <laughs> just eat it." It's also well. That's like, the cool thing is it takes you a couple of days sometimes. Oh, I love that. Like I'll have an ear and then I'll come In back to foil. tomorrow and I'll have a foot and then I'll go for the gut. You know, when I'm feeling a little hungry. <laughs> That's why I like the foil because I you just like twist exactly. it and fold it Exactly, you fold over. it back over. That's right. Someone says... Pay attention, kids. It's like <laughs> running a marathon, but with your stomach. All right, number four. Chocolate-covered marshmallow eggs. That sounds yummy. Yeah, if you like marshmallow. Yeah, they look better than they taste. You know who likes marshmallow? Sounds good. Carnivore. Your wife. I know. Yes. Your wife loves marshmallows. Loves marshmallows, loves peeps. I hate peeps. <laughs> I'm not a marshmallow. Peeps are a poison. Dude. Pure poison. I don't get the... They're so good. I could eat you them. You like them? Yeah, <sighs> dude, I love peeps. I cannot. I've tried They're so tried. weird. Especially when they're stale. I love stale, like, gummy worms and peeps. Like, so it needs to be stale. Quick story about peeps. My pastor Seriously. in my church growing up loved peeps. Okay. And so, some, you know, every year someone would get them, like, a package. But that became known over the next, like, three or four years. And then, like, one year... Some like everyone got him peeps, so he just like had peeps for the rest of the year. He's like, I have so many packages of peeps in here, I don't know what to do with them. So I just feel like just started handing them out to little kids. <laughs> I just feel like the what what peeps are made Why of little ones. Yeah, because they're peeps. He just because they're peeps. No, because pastor. Yeah. Oh, P and P. This is a Christian church. Wait, did you say pastor or bastard? Uh, pastor. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my bastard growing up. <laughs> <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I feel like peeps would last through a nuclear total. Them and cockroaches, yes. right through it. Yes, right through it. Right. Twinkies. 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 <laughs> we do, number three comes in with peeps Easter version. So it's the probably like yellows and pinks, pinks and stuff yeah. like that. Truth. Someone said. Uh, do they have peeps that are not Easter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They have Halloween. They sell them year they round? Halloween. Yeah, they have Christmas yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah, like Christmas But do they trees. sell them like July 4th? You're buying peeps or what? Um, No, I think just probably. MLK Day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I feel like they would. They're fun to look at, but not to eat. I just can't with peeps. It's like eating a sugar-coated sponge. No, thank you. Mm. All right, Miguel. Kind of makes me want one now. Miguel, get the hell out of here, yeah, man. Yeah, his name's Miguel. 30. They put the age, uh, too. Next. I don't like this guy. <laughs> two. We're at, we're, two. We're at two left. We got Easter candy corn bunny corn by No Brox. way. I'm Brox. not eating. Brox. I, Brox. So, Brox. Many, so Brox. many people have, like... Like my wife hates candy corn. I like candy corn, but it's only in October for me. Oh, candy corn! Is I so can good. I can eat an Easter candy corn. I don't think I can't do candy. corn I don't know. Either. It's a mental thing. <laughs> it's it's like it's like one of those Halloween candies. They say that like that deserve to be put in like a fire pit. <laughs> like they just absolutely hate candy corn. I can't They're do so it. So good. They're so waxy and just. Didn't I bring them here? Possibly the, the pumpkin ones. Yeah, I thought I brought them and put them out in the middle. You may have the pumpkin shaped ones. Yeah, I would always like. 
eat the white and then eat the orange and then eat the yellow. <laughs> like a weirdo. <laughs> All right, here's here's number one. The least of the worst is the Cadbury cream eggs. It's still that's the what I was talking about. Still, still the champion. I had says. one this year. It was, it was a lot. It really so. Is it milk chocolate? It's milk chocolate with like a vanilla cream or something like that. Yeah, okay. this, is a, this is a really weird uh, description. I, and it's I I understand they're an egg. I know they're shaped like an egg. I get it, but like it's just the visual that makes me realize it's supposed to imitate an egg, like the yolk. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. Uh, so they crack it, dude. Uh, I had one of those. It was pretty good. Someone's gonna be like, "Dude, it was it's a an lot, egg. Though. Of course, it's a yolk." But like, yeah. I until I saw this, yeah, it goes. This person or the description says a thick chocolate shell, encasing a sweet, gooey center, dis- designed to mimic the yolk and white of a real egg. I never knew that. I don't know why. I know obviously it's an, it's shaped like an egg, but I didn't think they were trying to mimic the yolk. <laughs> They're 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 pretty good. They're okay. <laughs> it's too much cream for me. It's too much like, cream. It's it's like like some people love frosting. Right. I can only have a little it bit of frosting. I can't have exactly. I can't have too much. But you know what's great? What's up? A straight up hard boiled egg with some oh. salt on it. Did you have? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I love that. Did you oh, guys yeah. have any deviled eggs over Easter? Oh yeah. yeah. No, the person who typically brings deviled eggs, my cousin, she was sick, so she didn't come. Damn you. <laughs> Loaded up with We're paprika and a little bit of a garlic powder. Oh. There's so many like oh, so I eat so much food on Easter. There's so many like ch- like cheeses. Someone Damn. made a cheese out of like uh, or made a bunny out of cheese what? and had wheat thins, and I was just like taking two wheat thins and chopping at it and making a sandwich. It was so so good. it was like cheese where you could like cut into it. It wasn't hard. Yeah. No. No. Well. Yeah. It was like a soft cheese, but That's still like nice. kept its form. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay makes a good cheese ball for Thanksgiving oh, usually. Amazing, or with like a, a walnuts yeah. or like something on the outside. Yeah. What kind of nut? That was walnuts, I think, right? Is it is either walnuts or pecans? I think it's pecans. Yeah, pecans, pecans. Was there an edible in this thing? No. Why? You feeling good? You yeah. okay? That's no, wrong. I'm hungry. Are oh, you hungry? <laughs> well, that's so good. So we got, it's, it's Tuesday and we got tacos coming. So, well, take Taco it away, Bell. Matt. We're there. We're back. It's been a minute. We're Missed sorry. You guys. It's been a while. I know. I missed hanging out and uh, shooting the shooting the turds. The shite. <laughs> We'll be here next week too. Thursdays, eleven AM, we're back at it. We're uh we're climbing, so check us out. We got all sorts of different content coming out. We got new merch coming out pretty soon. So uh see you next week. Yep. Cheers, shake it up. Shake it up. Go get them, brother. <laughs> <laughs>